Okay, Oak Rovers, this is a video that's going to help you solve shopping problems by setting up a proportion. And the way I set up this proportion in these problems is by making a thermometer. It's something that I've called the thermometer. I've used it for a couple years, and people really uh, tend to like it as, as they get to use it. If you notice on my thermometer, on the left side of my thermometer, I have percents. You can see right there I've written percents. And on the right side of my thermometer, I have prices. And that's written right there. Now, I also have, I've drawn it, and they have, I have three lines going across. In the middle line, I have 100, and that stands for 100%. So if you notice the middle line, I have 100 on that. Then I have three other things that I need to find. I have my regular price, my sale price, and then inside the thermometer, I have percent off. Let me show you how I can use a thermometer to help set a purport, up a proportion to solve these problems very easily. So the first problem looks like this. Sally got a new skateboard for her birthday. If the skateboard was regularly $135 but on sale for 30% off, what was the sale price of the skateboard? Now, all these problems are going to give you two of the three things, and you have to find the missing piece by setting up the proportion and solving for that missing piece. So in this problem, uh, I look what they're asking for. It says, what was the sale price? So I'm trying to find the sale price. But the clues they give me is the regular price is 135, and then the percent off was 30%. So let's put the regular price across from 100, because if you pay 100%, you're paying the regular price of an item. So regularly 135, so on that line directly across, I'm going to put 135 down. And then in the middle is the percent off. If you notice, my percent off is there in the middle, and this item was 30% off. So I'm going to put 30% right there in the middle. Now the way I get the number below 100 is I take 100 and subtract 30, and that's going to give me 70. And what I'm trying to find in this problem is my sale price, and that's X. So I'm going to put an X right there. Now I want you to notice one relationship here. I can take 100 minus 30 and get 70, but I can also take 100 minus 70 and get 30. And that's going to be an important relationship to use uh, later on on the third example that I give you. So let's cross multiply this or use cross, cross products to solve for this uh, for the missing piece here. And if I do that the two numbers two numbers that are across from each other are 100 and x. So if I multiply those together I get 100 x. And the other two are 70 and 135. And if I multiply 70 and 135 together let's see what I get. 70 times 135 uh, that's going to equal 9450. So I'm using cross products to solve this. So I took 100 times x and got 100x, and 70 times 135 and got 9450. Now, to solve for x, I have to undo multiplying x by 100. The opposite of multiplying by 100 is dividing by 100. And I'm going to write the division bar like that. I like using that. I don't like using the line and the two dots. It's sometimes too confusing. And we want to understand that a ratio, if I write it as a fraction, that means I'm dividing. So in this problem, I take 100x divided by 100. Well, the 100 divided by 100 is just 1, so I'm left with just x there. And then I take 9450 divided by 100, and I get $94.50. So the cost of that skateboard, which would be on sale, would be $94.50. Let's try it in a couple other ways. This one I was trying to find the sale price. Sometimes they'll give you the sale price and you have to find the regular price. And that's an example like number two. Number two says Sean bought a jacket. But before I do that, let me make my let me make my thermometer, my standard thermometer. I always start by writing like that. Okay, now I'm ready to do this problem. Sean bought a jacket on sale. If the jacket cost Sean $50.50 and was 35% off the regular price, what was the regular price? So let's put the things that I know. I'm, I know that the cost on sale is $50.50. I know I'm trying to find that regular price, so that's going to be my X. And I know it was 35% off, so I'm going to put 35 there. 100 minus 35 is 65, and I have X up there. So now I'm ready to cross multiply this. So I'll take 65 and x, they're cross products of each other, and I multiply those at 65x. And then 100 times 50, 50, 
is this going to be 50 or 5,050? Now I know that 65x is equal to 5,050. So to find out how much 1x is, I have to divide both sides by 65. So I divide that side by 65 and that side by 65. So if I take 5050 five, divided by 65, I get 77.69. So the price for this jacket before it was on sale was $77.69. Okay, so now I've done two problems. One was where I had to try and find the sale price. One was where I tried to find the regular price. The last one that I'm going to do, I'm going to try and find the percent off. So let's do the last one here also. Remember before I do the problem, I always set up my thermometer. So I draw my thermometer and I write 100% right down there in the middle. Middle line. Okay, now I'm ready to do it. A TV set is regularly $659 and is on sale for $461.30. What was the percent discount of the sale price? So I put my regular price across from 100, which is 659. My sale price, the 461 and 30 cents, below my regular price, and I'm trying to find my percent discount, which goes in there, and I can use that by cross multiplying and solving for x. So if I cross multiply this, x times 659 is 659x, and 100 times 461.30 is 46,000. 130. Now to solve for x, I can undo multiply x by 659. So we'll divide both sides by 659. So I take 46130 divide it by 659. And if I do that, I end up getting 70. That means I paid 70%. It's not $70. That means I paid 70% of the regular price. To find out how much it was off, the percentage off, I'm going to take 100 and minus 70, and I get 30% off. Because that was what the question was asking. So this number right inside there is going to be 30% off. So now, I know how to solve my shopping problems by using my thermometer proportion.